Hello, OSCON. Hi. Hi. I am an immigrant, a woman, and a computer scientist. <laughs> I'm also a member of this community. <laughs> and today, I want to talk to you about some of the things we all do in open source. By the way, this is not my age. Um, it was 18 years ago in Monterey, California, on this beautiful coastline, that we held the first ever OSCON. And that was right after the Pearl Conference that Brian Bellendorf referenced yesterday in his keynote. So at Sun Microsystems, um, we announced Open Office at that conference, which was my first project, leading that and building this vibrant community of contributors all around the world. Now, I'm sure many of you have actually used the software, or you may have contributed to it, or you may be using um, Libra, which is the origins of the Open Office code base. And as a community, we do contribute. I know it's um, the last keynote of this event, and I'm going to ask you to participate in this. So I have a question, like, how many in this room contribute anything to open source? Could you stand? Yeah, I'm going to get you to get up. <laughs> OK, that's all right. Now I can see. OK, the lights are on. Great. Wow. OK, and if you contribute just code, then sit down. So if you contribute more than code, remain standing. Wow, OK, look around you. There's still a lot of people standing. This community contributes more than just code. And I just want to applaud all of you that were standing earlier as well. <laughs> and collaboration is another key aspect of open source. And we all know that. So Google Summer of Code is a really excellent example of that. And the company helping, um, it's, it's an example of a company helping to teach collaboration to a whole new generation of students and part of open source participants. And it was really the first example that mentorship was really called out as a really important value in our community to bring people on board. And it's been really successful, and it's been running for over 13 years, and it's generated over 30 million lines of code. Now, I was privileged to work on the first two years of open source, um, of Summer of Code. And, and this man here, Greg Stein, um, he mentored myself and Chris DeBona in creating the program um, in the kind of Apache way. At the time, he was a president of the Apache Software Foundation. And he also um, helped us shape the open source program office. So we created this model, which was I guess the first kind, first of its kind, really, where a program office was actually concentrating on contributions, um, not just all the internal compliance and tooling, but really on engagement with the community. So Greg also had a full-time day job as a software engineer and who was doing this work on the side, mentoring us. And this is now being replicated in companies and in governments around the world. Many of these folks you will know as speakers here at OSCON if you've been before. And these are the program officers, so from GitHub, um, PayPal, Salesforce, and Comcast. And obviously, uh, you all know uh, Chris, Chris Abona and Chris Anacek. And these member comp companies, they may con um, compete on software, but in open source, um, there's great collaboration. So before an open source program office is created in any company, um, there are internal champions, there are software developers that download the code. And you kind of know because some of you have already done this. And you convince your um, managers, you convince your product managers, uh, to integrate the code into the products. And you work with the lawyers, and that's not really the fun part of what we all have to do. But we do that, and we work on compliance. 
And this is, we have a set of first followers and um, I guess early adopters and first followers in our organizations. And this change happens before any company decides to have someone like myself on stage here representing them. There's a whole host of people that come before me convincing an organization that open source is important to the company and that they need to take these steps. And there are many engineers and product managers um, who champion the open source um, so that we can deliver the products and services that our customers love. And many of them are in the room, as I said. So AWS, um, we're also, we also have our own internal champions. And Henry Yandel is with the Apache. He's a member of the Apache Software Foundation. And he's been tirelessly um, working internally, getting adoption, and actually um, working with the engineers on our contributions. And with the help of the heroes um, at AWS, we've been making contributions to open source since 2005. And many of you may not have come across AWS. We've been doing the work, um, a lot of small and medium-sized projects and contributions, so bug fixes, patches, and some very large contributions to the Linux kernel, Boto, Zen. Um, this also includes releasing our own code as well as contributing to other projects. We want to be doing a lot more of this. Um, we've also co-founded two open source foundations, so you may not have noticed that, and participated in many more. And we've been doing all this work. We just haven't been talking about it. And you know, as Brad said, there's a lot of people working behind the scenes. And you know, we get to come up here and talk about this work. And that's all changing. So we now have a team at AWS, Adrian Cocroft, Arun Gupta, and myself. So you know the team has been coming to OSCON for over many years. Between us, we've got over 40 years of experience in open source. And we're going to be the voice of the customer and the community, the open source community within AWS and outside. Our team is growing. We're growing our contributions. Come and talk to us. There's a feisty bunch downstairs in the expo lounge. And um, we're, we've been here all this week. We had a great boff yesterday. And we want to carry on with the, con the conversations with you. Um, you can find us in the booth or in Adrian's uh, talk after this at 11 o'clock. Um, and one last thing is we stand on the shoulders of giants. Now, you're familiar with these giants. What you may not know are these giants. These are less known, the women that have been working tirelessly <laughs> alongside me in open source, and for a lot longer. You see, it's about the people. And Apache, the saying is community over code, because we, the community, we do all of these things, and we stand together because we are open source. Thank you.